Hi everybody, uh, I'm just checking in today. I wanted to show you um, two things. One, um, how to mix Azasol and Ecomite Plus to uh, get rid of aphids. And two, to show you these aphids that I have on my carrots and parsley. Um, it's actually quite embarrassing because I've been neglectful. I've, I haven't been paying attention to them except to water. And I started looking a little closely and as you can see, there's, see the, oh, look at the big guy crawling. Go up a little bit. Um, look at, there he is. Ugh. So they're quite, they're slow movers. Um, but they have, you know, they can have multiple lifespans and they actually have live births, which is quite disgusting too. And then if you notice on the ground, there's all those little, um, light colored kind of specks. Those are, are like their uh, shells, or I'm, that's probably not the right word, but uh, basically they, they like sloth off their skin kind of thing. So they are all over the place. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we really spray everything um, down because we need to make contact with them to, uh, with the Ecomite Plus in order to knock them down. And then the reason we're gonna use Azasol is that will act up as a follow-up and um, help with any of the aphids that we missed. And azosol acts as an insect growth regulator, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna stop them from feeding, reproducing, um, and any you know, thing going to the next stage of life. So we're, um, we're gonna try to nuke them down pretty good here. So I'm gonna do some mixing. I've got a 32 ounce uh, spray bottle. And um, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of water and And now I'm going to add some azosol. And so in this 0.25 ounce size that I have here, um, there's a little quarter teaspoon scoop. And uh, so what I need is uh, one to four of these scoops uh, in a 32 ounce bottle. So because I have such a problem, if I was being preventative, I would just use one. But because I have, a, I have an infestation, I'm going to use four. So kind of just try to make it as level as possible and then uh, dump that in. So that's one, two, three. And one thing that's good to do with Azasol because it's so lightweight and powdery, it's like kind of like the consistency of flour, is you try to do your mixing inside if you can. Um, you know, you don't really want to be out in the wind where it just could blow away. Um, all right, so there's my four, Get that back on. And then um, now I'm gonna add a little more water. I'm gonna put this on, and this is one of the easiest ways to mix Azasol, is um, instead of trying to like stir it up, it's just give it a little shake. And it's a little tricky to see, but uh, for the most part, take a look at it and it looks like everything's um, gone into solution. Now that I've added the Azasol, I can add in um, Ecomite Plus. And so on this one, don't mind the uh, mock-up label here, uh, normally looks a little nicer. I'm just going to give this a little bit of shake because this has um, oils and extracts in it and so they do separate a little bit. So now that I've kind of made sure that that's all consistently mixed, um, I'm going to open up this side here, and this is where I can uh, measure. So it also, once again, it's hard to see, but we've got a half an ounce and a quarter ounce measurement. Um, so I'm going to go with two ounces today. So I'm going to squeeze that. Actually, I think I might only need one, but we'll go with two. So there's half an ounce. Squeeze. So easy to measure. I love this feature on this. And the benefit to using the concentrate versus the ready to use, which I have here, is that you can uh, decide what concentration you want to use. So once again, if you have an infestation, you can go with a higher rate. And if you uh, are just being preventative, you can go with a lower rate. So, all right, sorry. Let me get some water in this, fin finish filling this up. And the reason it's important to mix Azasol before Ecomite Plus is um, you want to make sure that the Azasol gets dissolved in the water 
and um, combines with the water versus combining with um, the oils. So we'll get this on nice and tight. Give this a little bit of a swirl. All right, and now we're gonna come on over and we are gonna nuke these guys. So um, basically it's important, I'm gonna kinda change the spray so that I'm not just knocking them off. Oh, or not. All right, so we've got a little more of a mist here. And so what this is gonna, what I wanna make sure I do is that I cover as much of the plant as possible. And, Cause if I miss them, it's not going to have an effect that I want. And then basically once this dries, the aphids will also dry out. Um, so this Ecomite Plus acts as a um, desiccant. Basically, it will dry it out, dry the insects out, um, as well as smother. So the oil in there is going to smother them. Ugh, yuck. Ugh. So I probably mixed a little more than I needed to. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll go inside and, and spray a lot of my house plants too. Cause I'm on the uh, front porch, screened in porch right now. And this is really, I don't have any problems on the on my plants inside, but they can't hurt just in case I ever bring anything in with me. Oh look, at they're all over the parsley here. So gross. <laughs> and then uh, just in case I'm gonna get the rest of the plants here make sure um, I've got everything covered and um, hopefully no more aphids uh, if I do see any what I'll, I'll do is I'll come back in um, in a few days and uh, give everything another spray all right let's see one more last look at them no nobody's moving around anymore are they Right, and if they are, I'm gonna get them. That guy's moving, isn't he? Get him. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Have a great day.